Baraka is an American documentary movie from 1992 which was filmed by only five people over a period of 14 months in 24 different countries. But let's talk about the movie and its meaning. In my opinion, this movie gives you some kind of opportunity. An opportunity to view the world from many different perspectives. And the Arabic word Baraka means mainly blessing, but also essence or breath. And this is what the movie literally represents. Although it's called a documentary, in my opinion it's more some kind of an artwork. It's a profound but detailed painting of the human spirit and our own creation. And what you really must do, which I didn't do, is to really make sure that you have a high quality television and some really good speakers or really good sound system, the best that you can possibly get. And all those different scenes that can be found throughout the whole movie represent different themes such as nature, spirituality, religion, also cultural ceremonies, really like a lot of different things. You see huge differences in terms of past versus future, natural environment versus more big city life or technology oriented environments. In terms of evolution of our own species, you can see like really tribal and primal elements, but also how we tend to progress towards a more new age technological society. And that we as human beings are all part of this. What I really like about this movie is that it gives you a completely different perspective on life. And this was done without using any dialogues or subtitles, just pictures. So it shows so much but says so little. Of course, the special music, the powerful sceneries or the order of the clips and the angles from which they were shot, it creates a specific atmosphere and also a story, at least for me as a watcher. But it's not that the producers were like, okay, I want you to think this and this is how you watch the movie. You know, there's plenty of room for your own ideas and interpretations. And this is pretty cool. During the movie, you will encounter ugly but also beautiful scenes and an abstract scenery that lies somewhere in between those two extremes. And of course, the music makes it very special. If you've, you, if you've watched the movie, you probably know what I mean. It often makes it very provocative, um, just like very special, but I don't know how to put it in words. I have a really hard time describing it, but this movie made me really appreciate again the beauty of our own planet and also the beauty of other people. And it really made me feel in tune with life itself. So yeah, to wrap it up, especially for people who like photography and spirituality, this movie is really a essential experience. And forget any other kind of documentary that you watched before, because this one is it's just completely different. If you like this movie, you should consider watching the documentary Samsara. I also make a movie review about this one. And yeah, leave a like here or a nice comment and have a great day. My name is Till and this is Till Talk.